Alright, last video we learned how to make a simple window, um, calling it an app, but it's a, it's a window you can use to put in information. So next, let's look at what's called a text box. So again, from do zero import, and these are the items you want to import. So app, text, text box, or whatever is in the documentation online. I'll put a link down below for that. Um, you specify your app, so you can name this whatever you want, equals big app, because that's what you want to reference. And then your title is still hello world. And then at the very end, you want to add this line, so it'll actually display your app. And small app is referencing small app. So for text box, you would name this whatever you want, so it would be whatever equals text box. I'm just gonna name it text box. Actually, I'll leave it whatever, just so you believe me. All right, and then opening parentheses. And let's see, it's gonna belong to the app. Specify that. Um, with text box, you can display text inside of it automatically. You can display it blank. You can display, uh, well, scratch that. You can have it a certain size. You can have it multi-lined. You can change the color. So let's just start and just show a text box. So let's go with width equals, uh, let's make it 100 and see how big that is. And then height you can only specify height if you specify multi-line so I'll do that in a second so we'll just do width and then that's really all you have to do um, and then hello world's gonna go away because I just erased that actually you know what let's leave that and then let's just keep adding to this app everything new we do so let's go to that was text I'll name that hello text name it whatever you want um, let's see it belongs to text um, and then it belongs to the app and then you want to oh see this is the pop-up I was talking about um, I don't know why it didn't come up last time but it tells you everything that you can you can um, like add to this line so text equals uh, hello world and then you can specify the color and all that I'm not gonna do that right now and then uh, font equals, oh, I didn't end, there we go, all right, Helvetica, uh, um, and then, oops, all right, Helvetica, and we'll do what, size equals, I think we did 60, and parentheses space I like the space in between everything I don't know why so let's run this we'll have our text we'll have our text box and a hundred is a bit big so let's make that at least 50 control s f5 all right so that's pretty good pretty good size so this is a text box actually I should right and make sure you do the inside the code up here make sure you do the capital B that's specified in the documentation capital T capital B so that's the text box you can write text in there you can also have text automatically appear in there with the dot value property so if we go under this you can do it anywhere reference um, whatever the object is we call the object hello text so you want to reference that dot value equals um, something cool and then actually that is a string so we want to put that in some quotes there and control s and that didn't work because I referenced the wrong something so if I go to whatever V and control S and F5. Now we're back to hello world. I referenced the wrong 
uh, object. So now something cool is in there. Um, you can also have a push button that saves whatever you have in the text box to a file. Endless things you can do. So let's we'll just leave that like I said. We'll just keep going here. So let's do one more thing in this video real quick. We'll add a push button. So you can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it push equals big push button. So that's what I'm referencing. Also, it's going to be inside the app. And with push button, you can do a couple things. You can do a command, you can do size, you can do text on the button, and stuff like that. It's always in this module, it's always going to be like a rectangular push button um, or a square, depending on your dimensions. But it won't be circular or anything like that uh, in this module. So let's go to text. Oops, and that's going to be a lowercase text, and it's going to be equals, that's going to be a string, so it's going to be push me, and that can be whatever you want, and we'll do width, um, actually the width might not work in here, let's add that to the bottom, uh, we'll, just, we'll just leave it like that, and then we'll do it down here, we'll add a width, so we can do push dot width and this is just a property sometimes it doesn't work in the in the same line as everything else so I just always do it in a property that's width equals uh, 30 and then height equals whoops I have to reference the object dot height equals oh, it's just to make it symmetrical let's do 15 it'd be a nice rectangle uh, and then like I said in the text box, you can make that multi-line. So let's just make that multi-line real quick. So you mul multi-line equals true. Um, multi, did I spell that right? I think I spelled it right, I don't know. And then after that, you can specify a height equals, um, let's do, see that was 50, let's just do like 10. And that's really big, so let's just do, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, let's just do two then. I guess that'll be, yeah, so that's, okay. So we have an error, that means we didn't do something uh, right. So we have our something cool, and that's twice as big now, so we can return and type something else. Now our error down here is um, we didn't define push button so up here we need to define push button so capital P capital B so then once we control S and F5 that's a really big push button but you can push it see that so we have our hello world our multi-line text box our push button so let's make this push button a little bit smaller so we'll do 15 on the width and then we'll do like 5 on the height uh, it's still pretty big. I don't really like it that big. So let's just do 10 and then 2.5. Hopefully a decimal works. Nope. So a decimal. So this is actually a decimal or a float. Um, it's not accepted. So now we have a moderately sized push button and you can change the colors. You can write a function. To where this will change colors and toggle every time you click it and do something else we'll go over that later